Welcome back to Let's Play Heavy Rain, and this is supposed to be, well, this is the real episode 20. I know I messed up on the last episode, I was actually 19, my bad. Um, I just, I, I just kind of lost track of where I was for a second there, but now I think I'm back on track. I should have, I should have had everything more organized. I, I started getting way too ahead of myself with the recordings, and I was falling behind on the commentating, so, um... Yeah, I just got a little confused, but now I got everything a little bit more organized. I got rid of some of the stuff I didn't need, so, um... Yeah, it should be a lot easier from here on out, hopefully. And, um, so anyway, in the last episode, we were... Jesus Christ. Well, we finished the... The, what, uh, the butterfly trial. And, um... That was pretty freaking hectic. We all know that. We went through that. And now, look who's on the floor. Oh pretending to be a drama queen. He thinks he's all hurt and everything, but, um... Yeah, so yet again, Madison's gonna have to fix Ethan up. And, uh, depending on how badly you did on the butterfly trial, or how good you did... The less stuff you're gonna have to do here, so um, I guess we better pick him up, off, uh, pick him up off the ground. I, get, ugh. <laughs> I can't speak again. Ugh, it's too early in the morning. <clears throat> but um, yeah, I did uh, last night. I did another recording session. Got another like hour or so of footage, and I had to stop actually because um, there's a scene that I I wasn't a hundred percent sure um I was ready to do right then, so I wanted to stop and make sure I knew what I was doing before I did it because I don't want to mess anything up. But, um, yeah, so far so good. I think, um, we'll, we'll, I'll be done recording pretty shortly. I think maybe, uh, maybe two or three more recording sessions I'll be done. I, I believe. Uh, I don't think I have that Ethan. much more to go. So, um, Ethan. anyway, back to, uh, the gameplay me? that we got going on here. Um, so, uh, he's obviously hurt, so we're gonna have to go back to the bathroom and perform doctor duties, but after we have to, I guess we have to take a look at what's wrong with him first, right? So, um... So I think he's, yeah, he's got a fever going on some, for some reason. He's got a fever. I don't know if that makes a lot of sense or not, um, getting a fever from being in a power plant. I, okay, whatever, I don't know, I'm not gonna question it. And, oh god, there she goes, I'm taking off your shirt! Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Off to disinfect those wounds. Take those clothes off, yeah, to, yeah, to disinfect the wounds. Right, right, Madison, right, yeah, I believe you, I believe you. Yeah, yeah, it's getting hot in here, holy crap. Oh, damn. So, um, right there, you see his chest, how it's, like, blank. There's really nothing there. If you get electrocuted enough times, that chest will be, like, beat red of all burns and stuff. It's really nasty. Arms but, are um, really bad. Since I never got hit by any electricity on there, and I just, my arms and knees were all torn up, that's about it. And the fever, that's... So I think I did pretty good on the trial. I didn't get hurt at all that much. Not as much as I, I did the first time I did it. Uh, so now let's go to the bathroom, let's get some stuff. Uh, no trophies in this episode. Not, not that I believe. Uh, sadly, you don't get trophies for um, healing up um, Ethan or anything. I'm surprised. Uh, that's kind of weird. Uh, let's see. Again, I have not put my freaking trophy guide thing up here for me I'm to read to you. I'll do what I can. Um, okay. Here we go. We're getting down there. There's uh, not too. Well, there's still quite a few left, but uh, we're get. We're about maybe over halfway past the list now so um, yeah nothing here but there will be some coming up so let's give him his little painkiller pill thing he'll like that yum yum mm, nom 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 okay so uh, you would use um, the ointment for uh, the burns on his chest you do that and you have to like rub it on him really slow it's really annoying actually but since I don't have to do that it's not a big deal for me but you do have to make sure you disinfect those wounds first, clean them up a little bit. And this part could be kind of annoying too. If you like screw up on here, you have to do the whole thing over again. It's kind of annoying. But uh, I take my time and I do it right, so I'm, I'm I'm happy with myself. And then you gotta bandage it up, I believe. Um, once you're done cleaning it up, and I guess she just completely forgets about his knees that are all torn up too. She just wants she just wants the hot body. She doesn't care about anything else. She just wants to touch his, are disinfected. his chest and his and his stomach and nipple. Okay, so let's um, let's bandage his arm up here. This is this is kind of cool. You just like spin the analog stick around and around, and wrapping it up, and oh, and that's pretty much that's pretty much it. And then if there was burns, like I said, you use the ointment, and I don't think you use the medicine at all. I don't think I did. Yeah, yeah, we're done. Sweet. He's unconscious. Uh, then. 
So now, now we gotta no, wait. Have to wait. She's actually gonna sit there and wait, and hope he wakes like up. watch him while he sleeps, all creepily, and wait for him to wake up. So yeah, it's well. Thank God they didn't they didn't make me wait for him to wake up, cause <laughs> I'd go nuts, cause he sleeps for like four hours or so, or two hours or something like that, and I wouldn't want to be freaking like doing crap for that long. It'd be so boring. <clears throat> I'd probably cut that whole part out if I had to do that. And their door's still. Oh wait, no, it's not. Never mind. Looked like the door was open. Yeah, I'm seeing things. Oh god. God damn it, man! Wake up. I'm getting bored. I'm bored. Now, how she can't sleep? I don't get it. She's totally just horny for him. She's actually gonna sit there and wait for the guy to wake up. It's ridiculous. Hmm. She's still sitting there. Holy. Like she has her own room, you know. There should be a TV around somewhere. You watch some TV. Oh, wake up, sleepyhead! Yeah, that's just weird. How do you weird. feel? I've been watching you sleep. You have morning wood. Uh, uh, oh. Okay. I've been better. He's been better. Of course. Of course, you've Was been I better. Out for long? Your son's About been fucking hours. taken away. You're going through these fucking trials. I think you could be better. God, Why stop pointing out the fucking angel? obvious, stupid. You don't even know me. Still, he's still being kind of a dick to uh, Madison. He just won't. Open up to when her. I was a child, a lady helping I was you out. You wouldn't even be here right now. If, brothers up when if, you were, fighting with the other if it wasn't for her, you wouldn't even be here. Yeah. I, uh, I suppose I like to play the guardian angel. She likes to play the guardian angel. Okay, that's fine. I guess that's fine. I don't have much of a problem with that. It's just that, um, it's kind of like you he doesn't want you. you were here you want him he don't want you you're an insomnia. it's all up to my choice if I want you or 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 not so um yeah I am um, so um I don't know this is kind of like a part a I guess a where you guys just talk and try and learn months. more about each other and I I might as well it's just be honest with them I'm just gonna tell them everything that. no need to hide anything it, but, she likes uh, him might as well just tell him what she needs it's not what easy. he wants to hear I guess because it'll just make it a lot worse in the end if you lie you got, you some, got kind some kind of problem, of problem man? You got problem? Got the problem? Bigger than you can possibly imagine. I can't believe she hasn't figured out what the hell's going on. It's like... I'm sorry. I he should have just told her. Be but then, questions. Well, he can't really tell her that, because then maybe she called I mean, the cops or something. I mean, after all, we hardly know each other. And look at him. He's, he's, he's getting ready to go for another goddamn no go at this thing. Me. Oh, God, man. You're crazy. No. Listen, I'm truly grateful for your help. Okay, here comes Dick Alert. Sake. Just get the hell away from me! Questions. Uh, Maybe I, I just want to help you. No one can help me. Oh, hate people like that. You've already done a lot. They, they're so independent, but they really do need help, and they they just right. won't accept it. Those are really annoying people. I'm gonna go. Independency. Yeah. Take care. Take care. Bye. She's slowing down. She's gonna. Oh, yep. Yeah, look back. No, he doesn't give a shit. Yeah, just get the hell out of here. Oh, that sucked. Okay, so let's um, let's see what else we got to do now. Let's see what's the next one. Now, yep. Okay, now this is a good one. Oh, this is gonna be a fun one. I don't know if you guys know, but are you prepared to make a sacrifice to save your son? Nine. That that better not say nine eleven Maple Street. <laughs> not nine eleven. I don't want to bring that up. I don't want to have a whole freaking discussion on comments and shit below about nine eleven. So don't bring it up. I didn't do it. I swear I didn't do it. Okay, so here's the I've result of us beating business. the shit out of Korda. They're interrogating him, but nothing you. adds up properly. So he's not the origami I killer. Told you. I forgot to report um, to my parole officer. He just he's just not it's just not just, it's prison. not right, man. It's not right. When I saw the cops, I just bolted. I bolted, I wasn't man. I bolted. Straight. I was straight up out of there. We checked out his statement. Okay, he so he has an uh, alibi for at least three of the murders. Well, there you go. So it's not him, Blake. You're fucking wrong again. He wasn't the perfect shit. fit. Stupid piece of shit. <laughs> Who's on the phone? Ash. Let me talk to him. Let me get on three-way call with y'all. Okay. I love that from Mad TV when they're doing Sean the his mother's here. the She'd deal like or no deal episode. Oh God, that's so funny. Oh yeah. Okay, so Sean's mother is here, it was and she's I don't know. Ago. She's gonna say. For peace, I guess, night. you know, there's not really much to say. It was pouring down. Say my thumb. Ethan came home completely And she's just kind of like adding three. to the pile of evidence that 
makes these guys he, think that um, uh, Ethan may be the origami killer. You never know, he may be. Um, but it just really, really wouldn't make sense make if he's sense. like doing these trials if he was the origami killer. It but we'll find out something. more and more as the game goes on. It just, it's just a, a great story, and we're gonna have to unravel that in the next episode because I'm running out of time. So until next time.